Hey there, another beautiful day on planet Earth. It's glorious here. It uh, looks like the sun's shining on Max's side of the, uh, the Atlantic. Ignite Your Purpose, episode 81. Um, quite often, the first question that comes out of people's mouths, whether it's to do with podcast or your business or some kind of adventure, this entrepreneurial startup is, are you making any money? Is it worth money? How much money are you making? How much is it costing you? Blah, 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 blah. So, Max, I think you've had this a few times recently. You spin your shit. I'll think of something to say. People, it is my day. It's my Chaga Thursday. It's a beautiful thing. I, I got to be, and I got to say this, be thankful for the little things. I want to take a quick sec before I go into that, John. Class last night, people remember the eclipse is coming uh, tomorrow, 1.15 p.m. I don't know whose time that is, but understand, burn, get your journals out, get stuff out of you, burn it. It's a healing process. This eclipse is attached to karma. Get rid of it. Okay. So, back. journal, write shit down, burn it, yep. Anything you want to get out of your system, uh, old thoughts, old beliefs, uh, energies, uh, emotions, you know, Bob did this to me back in 1982, put it out, burn it, create space for new because karma's coming in there, so much going on, we had a astrologer in there last night and my mind was blown, I still, I still intellectually do not understand it all, but shit's going on, man, and that's just the way it is, and that's, what? that's what I was told, so in yeah. layman terms, that's what I'll pass on to you guys. What about my accounts, can I burn my accounts? Like bank accounts. Yeah. You know, all my freaking paperwork for the accounts. And... You know, if the government, the government says yes, I think it's seven years, but you should. Something like that, it is, right. That Roll is it. attached to old stuff. Okay, money. Now, I am guilty of this in my old life. You know, I would always be like, yo, you know, what's, yeah, what's the bottom end? What's the ROI? What's, you know, what's this? What's that? Until you start growing and understanding um, your passion, your purpose, and why you're doing it. You know, if you jump into something just to make money and it doesn't make money right away, and we see this so much in today's society, we quit, right? Same with your relationships, same with your diet plans, we just quit based on money. Now, if you're coming it from, I love doing this, um, and I'm going to do this forever, and if it ends up making money, beautiful, um, but the way this came up, John, was I think you and I are both starting to feel that our, our shows are starting to reach more and more and more people. Um, and I was at the gym. Well, I've been at the gym numerous days, but on certain days, uh, somebody will walk in from, you know, a different area, different city, different town and be like, yo, man, I checked your stuff. You making money? Uh, you got sponsorships? Uh, you got, you know, are you selling a course soon? all based on things that you and I, John, talk about that we don't want to do, right? Uh, we might get into clothing. We might do a few things that we think is cool for ourselves to wear and promote our own stuff instead of, you know, CrossFit and Ironman. But in general, we're not coming from a place of we're here to extract money from you, the, the community. We're here to help. And in the end, if, you know, we get speaking gigs and all that and we do get paid, cool. But unlike me in the past, I'm not coming from... John, let's start this so we make money. Yeah. Yeah. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Boom. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Um, I think everybody should be aware of my kind of awakening last year where I decided that life, it's not about earning more money. It's about spending less, getting value out of the possessions that you buy and embracing uh memories experiences and uh leveraging time to do the things that are important to you so that's generally my ethos in life and there are times when i work really really hard and there are times when i say i'm taking the day because i'd rather go for a swim or a walk or meet the wife or whatever. but um quite often are you making money off the ads on the show yet what's youtube how do you, what's the algorithm for this or that? Or, and I used to be there for the money. It used to be, I'd be up at six in the morning, out the door at 
I'd work 12 hours a day, I'd work six, seven days a week, and it was all about how much money did I make, how much money did I make this hour, working it down to how much was it today, how much was it this week, how much was it this month, uh, and that's it, getting monetary value out of everything I did, and the experience was irrelevant. Now, my friend JJ asked the question off the back of yesterday's podcast, because I had mentioned we're going to the top. And he said, well, where's the top? And I think most people's expectation is you've got a million followers or you're making £100,000 a year or £300,000 a year. And uh, although I rambled a bit with the text, I think for me, the, the top is actually what can I do today to get value and to give value, to, uh, to give back, to share to uh, possibly encourage somebody else to make a better decision because of something I, I said or didn't say. They may go, you said this, but you didn't say that. And then they have this fucking light bulb moment. Yep. That, that, is, that is the only kind of monetary return that, that I would like, is this kind of communication, getting a dialogue going, asking more questions, people sort of just readjusting their life. Um, Beyond that, when this gains momentum, and it will, and let's say we get a thousand followers, or followers from, the only real monetary driver for myself, and I'm, I'm, I'm Max and I have spoken about this, we're pretty close on this, apart from maybe a t-shirt or a hat, is if we can cover the cost of running this show, so the subscriptions to Spotify or Podbean or whatever it is, you know, these, these apps and these platforms that we need to subscribe to, Apple, Apple Live TV, yeah, you know, costs uh, 50, 50 bucks a month. If we can cover that, really fantastic. It can contribute to, I'm going to Canada to see Max, and if it can contribute a little bit towards my flight, that's brilliant, but I'm going anyway, so it doesn't matter. Then that's that's the kind of, the, the value that I like to receive from it. So Max, I'll let you finish. Um. John knows I've been in this class for 10 years um, and I always talk about it because it is the foundation of the new person I am and I try and spit forth what I've been learned because very few of us are blessed enough to be able to talk from somebody who has seven generation lineage learning. That's a lot of years um, once you understand what a generation is and how old school that learning is. In this class I have been and, and people have, who watch and listen to podcasts you all know and have heard of multi-millionaires, hundred thousandaires, billionaires who are so unhappy, right? <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, because of why? Because us as a society, and this is where it all started, we attach our self-worth on how many zeros we have in the bank. Yes. And that is a sad, I'm, I'm mm. holding my own feet to the fire. I, I was, and it's still there, uh, guilty of it, right? You know? If I was, you know, if I, whatever, I can't even think of a story to tell you right now, but I will say this, John, in the future, something that has become clear to me um, is I think back to that movie Schindler's List and I, and because I'm in the rap industry, you know, I don't wear any bling. I have nothing, man, because everything I make, I want to put back to put back forth. I don't want to extract money and I'm not against anybody who's doing this for jewelry, but I, I would rather, if I had 500,000 worth of jewelry. I would rather go build houses for people who d can't afford them. You know what I'm saying? That's where my mindset is at because of this class, right? It's not, I want a fatter gold chain or bigger rims on my tires, man. I did that stuff and I was unhappy as shit. So yeah. money is yeah. not the answer, right? Yeah, it's the, you know, that age goes the happiest time. People believe money will bring them happiness and they get this much money and they're still not happy. So they get this much and they're still not happy. Then this much and they're still not happy. And they end up being the most unhappy person in the graveyard. So uh, that's that's the truth. And of course, we need there's there's a level we need. We need the roof. We need the food. Yeah. But then we need to give back because if you're blessed enough to make it, we need to give it back. That's my mentality. Anyway, people, thank you so much for listening, John. Anything else? No, I'm gonna go and get a bit of trim off to class tonight. Uh, so we'll go and pick up some. Uh, New top tips and skills and practices to work on. I'll, uh, I'll put my face out the window and check out the full moon tonight. I think it's tonight or tomorrow night. Not sure when the eclipse is, but I will. Uh, I'll be googling that shortly. 
um, maybe get up the mountain, uh, you know, fray away from all the light pollution. Not that we have any light pollution on the Isle of Man, it's one of the clear skies, spots around the yeah. yeah, it's a pretty special place. Um, uh, that, and that's all from me. So, uh, as, as always, thank you for excuse me, tuning in, for listening, and um, we will see you same place, maybe not the same time tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate you. We know we could be anywhere in the world, and you're rocking with us, and you know we appreciate it. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.